Happy Planner Meets Mixed Media, number nine. This weekly spread sees of me using Dyna PBO paints and reinforcements for bullets. Here's a sneak peek of the completed layout. So I have some metallic paint, Artist Loft metallic paint, and I have this Dyna PBO paint that is absolutely amazing. And I just purchased this, so of course I had to get out and used it. Now, these stickers, I had previously done some jelly printing on them, and I wasn't happy with the color. It wasn't going to work for my spread as it was. And I thought, okay, I'm just going to add a layer of color, and well, you know me, I needed some shimmer. So I did that with the reinforcements as well. And this is a quick, easy way to take something that you already have in your stash and make it fit your color scheme. There's that little addition of the Dyna iridescent paints really made all these pieces come together without losing the background prints that I achieved with the jelly printing. So even if you have some extra st stamps or stickers that you've created through the jelly printing process, you can always add another layer of color, you can stamp on it, you can add more to it to make it fit your latest spread. The camera doesn't do this justice. This page, the iridescence, the two-tone iridescent that comes from this paint, this blue-green iridescent paint, is amazing. Now, the one thing that with this planner, my planner has the um, teal rings, um, discs in it. And if I don't have that color in the spread, it doesn't quite match so that would be an argument to actually go out and buy either black ones or gold something that's going to go with whatever color your spread is I'm not rushing out I do have some I think large larger black ones that I got at a sale a while ago that I had earmarked for a different um, project but I might just switch it out with my planner for that reason but I'm trying to keep with my mandate of not buying extra plan, specifically planner stuff. My goal in doing these videos is to show how you can use what you have in your stash as a mixed media artist or art journalist and use that to decorate your planner. And I'm using up every little last bit of paint, even on stickers and tags and things that I may not be using for this spread. So I've just peeling off the backing. Now, most of these, if I'm, if I'm correct, are the transparent ones. And I love those even more than the regular um, labels. The transparent ones I find very easy to work with. I like the translucent quality that's with them. Um, and if I was going out to specifically buy to use with my planner, those are the ones that I would seek out. So I'm trying, going to keep this spread fairly simple. I'm just cutting these to size. And I'm just eyeballing it because it really doesn't matter. Now you notice that there's pink in the dividers between the top, between the thirds of the page. At some point in time, I may decide that I don't want that color, and then I can actually just use uh, some of my jelly prints cut into thin strips to to go over there um, to cover it up. This does have pink underlying in the background of all the uh, stickers that I've used so it goes with this page but in upcoming months I'm thinking I may not want that color to shine through so I'm just playing with my uh, stickers here and figuring out the placement and I'm thinking at some point in time I may want to divide up 
one of these third sections into two separate ones to do different um, kind of things. You Just because there's three there doesn't mean that we have to keep it at three. We can put as many as we want or how we're going to use it. So I've decided that I want some checklist um, down on the bottom third. I find this really usable and a quick easy way of getting kind of that bullet checklist kind of look. Now these base uh, cards, ATCs, I haven't quite decided which one I want to use, so you see me flipping through them periodically just to just make that decision. Now these are all cards that I cleaned up leftover paint at some point in time that I had you know with me on the couch watching a movie and I doodled on. So they're in different states of doneness. They're definitely good backgrounds. Some of them are almost completed backgrounds. Some of them I may have to add stuff to and I'm just trying to match what I have with a spread. So it's all part of uh, use that, use your stash. So I'm deciding what I want on that top row, and it, I want to have something in all the areas. And then I change my mind and I decide I'm going to use these reinforcements and I'm just going to have kind of use it as a bullet. I can still check off in the middle or fill it in and I'm putting three items on there. I've also decided that my appointments and times I may move that to my monthly spread and leave this more for my planning of other activities. So I've been giving it some thought, so you're going to have to wait and see what I come up with. So as I play with each of these different ideas, some are going to stick, some are going to go by the wayside, but they may work for what you want your planner to do. Now right now I'm working on put placing that ATC um, over top of the light bulb as I have for several months and I actually end up changing my mind with that and uh, going and moving it to a different place. So I go to my quotes binder and I grab a quote that in some way meant something to me right now. As much as I would like to go and glue those on ahead of time, one of the problems with that is it may not represent where how I am and how I'm feeling or where I'm at in, in that particular time. So again, we'll see how that works. I hope to do a video of how to do a preparation session and get ready for maybe a whole month of planner spreads. If you're interested in watching a video on that, please leave a comment in the down below. So I'm just going over the letters to make them a little darker and I've put some of that transparent um, stickers that I had from the labels. Somehow there's a little color missing and I decide to bring out the technique of uh, stenciling with my distress inks. Now I don't have a whole lot of distress inks. I have I think eight of them. Now this stencil is very thin. I really love the look of it, but it, because it's so thin, I, I don't find I use it a lot on my art journal pages. I can't put, um, I haven't been successful at getting even thicker paint through it or uh, modeling paste. So using the distress inks with it was perfect. And here I mixed two colors, the purple and um, 
the blue or teal and I absolutely love it because it's so thin that's why I've taped and masked around it the distress inks really blend so nicely and I think that's the reason I, why I bought them after watching videos where it's done, but I really haven't used them. So I'm feeling really good about being able to use them. So I grabbed a stamp and I'm going to stamp with black paint. And I've chose black because in the ATC that I have, there's some black there and I want everything to work together. So I'm going to add that little bit extra black. So I rub the acrylic paint onto my stamps and it works really well you just have to remember to make sure you clean your stamps right after so the acrylic paint doesn't clog it all up now, I found this create stamp and I decided that instead of printing it in every time I'm going to actually just use the stamp and that's gone into the pile of things that I'm going to do pretty much every month or every week now I don't have a stamp that says to do but I realized that I have some letter stamps and the ones you see me have right now are ones that I got in the dollar fifty bin at Michaels and it's easy enough to just stamp to do again with the acrylic paint So if you don't like your handwriting like I don't you might just want to do it that way I wrote the quote happiness is an inside job so I'm grabbing my inked hands pencils and I'm getting kind of that purpley pink violet color and the teal and I'm going to color in the numbers in the to-do list and in the create list. Now just to refresh you, in the to-do list I do those are the chores and the things that I need to do regarding the household. In the create list are things that I want to do um, with my YouTube channel with my blog and often I will write in those things before the week before I turn to that spread and before that week is on and then some of those things might end up in a particular day so it's a place that I can go and put those ones down and that system seems to be working fairly well for me writing over the distress inks not a problem it's really smooth and the ink shows through quite nicely. I also, I have lots of circles on the page. The stencil I chose is a circle. I use the uh, reinforcements that are a circle, and that also builds a cohesive looking page. I discovered that doing, doing these planner spreads really is about a lot of detail work that we do at the end of an art journal page. And there I use my jelly roll pan to circle and outline the numbers. And as I look at my planner, I'm deciding it needs more black. So I am tracing around all the stickers and just kind of doing the dot, dash, dash, dot all the way around. Just to add that little bit of finish that you would often be doing at the end of the art journal page. So I didn't cover up the light bulb here so I get out the blue that kind of matches my spread and the violet and you know just activate it with a brush being mindful of how much water you can I'm putting um, but the page the paper is pretty good so it can handle a bit you know you don't have to be worried but I do dry it as quickly as possible I'm not going to let it sit there being wet and using a jelly roll pen just to add a little bit of shimmer and shine on there so looking over the spread I'm really happy with how everything kind of came together from kind of disjointed stickers and stamps at the beginning I like having a lot of white space and there's a lot of writing in there my planner first and foremost is a functional planner 
So I'm going to put it back in place. Any of the products that I use in here can be found in the description box. There are links to my Amazon store. Here are some close-ups of the planner page. And I apologize, this picture is very dark. I wasn't aware of that till I'm looking at it now. Love the colors of, of my planner. Every, every spread I do, I think this is my favorite, but they're all my favorites. I'm loving using my planner and I reach for it all the time. Next week, I will be joining a Final Friday collaboration with uh, several other ladies who, are, who do different planners, different a bullet journal, different kind of mixed media planner videos. So I'm excited about joining the collaboration and I will see you next on Final Friday.